Hi, Gemini. I'm Sade from Blue Alley's Tarot. I'm here to do your love reading today. Um, please like, share, and subscribe. And comment below and let me know if this is your story. Let me know if it resonates. I would love to know. Also, if you would like to book a personal reading, the link is in the description box below. Um, so please do that. So what I'm going to do is start with some Oracle messages from your person. Now, keep in mind that the roles can be reversed. So this could either be what your person wants to say to you or what you may want to say to your person. Also, this is just a general reading, so it may not resonate with everyone. If it doesn't, please check your moon and rising sign. So let's go ahead and get started. Spirit, what messages do you have for Gemini? What messages do you have for Gemini? So it says, irreplaceable, the way you love can never be matched. So that, to me, basically means that no one compares to you. Um, no matter who they cross paths with, who they mess with, no one compares to you. And they know that, you know, your love is irreplaceable. It says, responsibilities. I have to take care of my fan financial and emotional needs. So you may be dealing with someone who is going through financial hardship right now or someone um, who has been emotionally unavailable to you then you have damage we are both hurting from this so maybe you and your person are going through some things um and you both you know are are feeling a little down about the situation so let's pull some tarot cards so we can see what's going on with these oracle messages and see what's going on in this connection Spirit, what messages do you have for gemini what does gemini need to know Okay, so you have all of these cards came in reverse, the two of cups in reverse, the three of cups in reverse, and the nine of wands in reverse. The signs that we have here are Cancer, Cancer, and Sagittarius. So that could be your moon or rising, or you may, um, this may be your person's sun, moon, or rising. Now with this two of cups in reverse, this represents, um, so like, okay, if you're single, this can mean like you just recently started dating someone who you just simply are not compatible with. Um, it could be a person that runs hot and cold. It's like you never know what you're going to get from them. On any given day, they can change. So it's like, you know, one day they may act like, you know, they can't get enough of you. And then the next, you know, thing, the next they may disappear or give you the cold shoulder. So it was like, damn, like, do you want me or do you not want me? Like, what are we doing? Um, now if you are dealing with someone, this card could represent like arguments, broken engagement, separation or divorce. Um, this can also mean you or your person may be taking the relationship for granted and, you know, not putting the work in to really make this work. Now with this three of cups in reverse, um, this represents like a short term relationship that may be coming your way but it was it's not gonna last like it may be very exciting in the beginning but then you know it will fizzle out very fast um this can also indicate a reunion from someone so like someone from your past may be coming back but once they come back um you will soon realize you know why this person was out out of your life why you disconnected from this person why you walked away you're gonna realize that they were out of your life for a good reason like basically like this is not the person for you now, with this nine of ones in reverse, um, this pretty much means like, you know, you and your person are arguing so much to the point that both of you are refusing to compromise. 
Um, it could also mean that one of you may, you know, just because of the arguing so much that, you know, you may feel like you have no more fight left in you. Like you don't want to even give it any more attention. At, you're at the point where you just want to withdraw from this connection altogether because it's just not worth it. Like you're not going to compromise. They're not going to compromise. So it's just best. You just feeling like, you know, I just want to walk away. Which kind of goes with this damaged oracle card when it says, you know, we're both hurting from this. So it's like, you know, you, the arguing may have gotten so bad that, you know, you both are saying some mean and nasty things to each other that you don't really mean, but you're just saying it in the heat of the moment. So let's clarify these cards and see, you know, further what's going on. Why is the two of cups in reverse here for Gemini? Why is the two of cups in reverse here for Gemini? Why is the Three of Cups in reverse here? Why is everything coming out in reverse? Why is the Nine of Wands in reverse here for Gemini? Clarify the Nine of Wands in reverse. Spirit, what is the likely outcome for this connection with Gemini and their person? What is the likely outcome for Gemini and their person? Okay, so you have um, the Nine of Pentacles in reverse, the Queen of Wands in reverse, Judgment in reverse, but then you also, for the likely outcome, you receive uh, the Lovers in the Upright. So the signs that we have here are Virgo, Leo, Capricorn, Scorpio, and Gemini. So with this Nine of Pentacles in reverse, this just represents a lack of stability and security. Um, this could also mean that you or your person may be overindulging in things or just like being flat out spoiled. You know, running up bills and expecting the other to cover the expenses. Which kind of goes back to responsibilities when it says, I have to take care of my financial and emotional needs. So if someone is just overspending, overindulging things, you know, creating unnecessary bills, then it could be putting the other in a financial hardship. And they just don't know how to tell you that. Um, this card can also represent deceit or deception. This usually appears for people who are in a relationship for all the wrong reasons. Now, with this Queen of Wands in reverse, this represents a mistress. So, you know, either you or your person, you know, could be your mistress. So, your person... Um, may be in a relationship with someone else and, you know, messing with you on the side or vice versa. Um, this is someone who loves to take somebody else's man. They are always up for a challenge. Um, this is a woman who will use her beauty and charm to get a man, which goes kind of with this judgment card. Um, so with this judgment card, it's just like somebody needs to make a decision about this relationship because it looks like the relationship you know, has another person in it. It may be a little bit toxic. You may be dating each other for all the wrong reasons. So somebody needs to make a decision about um, whether they're going to end it or move forward with it. But either way, a decision needs to be made. This also represents um, gossips and gossip and rumors uh, that someone may be creating about your person that more than likely isn't true. So before you blow up on your person, you know, just or just rush, I'm sorry, before you blow up on your person or rush to judgment, make sure, you know, you get all the facts before, you know, rushing to judgment. Because I see that more than likely, whatever rumors someone brings to you, I don't think they're going to be true. Now, with this lover's card, um, for me, no, every reader does not, may not agree with this. But for me, the lover card, this is my third party card. This is this means uh, a choice between two people. So somebody is dating two people and they know they need to choose, which is the judgment card. Judgment is about choices. So you have to come to a decision like, am I going to choose this person? Am I going to stay in this relationship? Am I going to end this connection? So basically what I see is this is a third party situation. 
Um, somebody needs to make a decision. Are they going to stay with this person or are they going to come and be with this person? But either way, a decision needs to be made because right now it's just unhealthy. Um, both of you are bickering too much. You're both hurt. Feelings are hurt. Emotions are running wild. So a decision needs to be made. So let's get some hidden messages. This is basically what you may want to say to your person. Your person may want to say to you that you keep to yourself, that you all just not telling each other. <clears throat> Spirit, what messages do you have for Gemini? What does Gemini need to know? What does Gemini need to know? So this says, my life is not as together as it seems. So, you know, one of you are going through it, but trying to put a mask over, um, wear a mask and act like, you know, everything is good, like your life is just sunshine and rainbows when it's not. Then it says, I hope that you can forgive me one day. So one of you are, you know, feeling regretful, I not believe, about having the third party, probably being deceitful about some things. So, um... Like I said, this either from you or your person, but someone just wants to know that they're sorry, but they just haven't came out to tell you yet. And it says, we both know I am not the one for you. So this just lets me know that, you know, it goes with this lever. Where is it? The lover's card where I said someone is dating two people. Um, so you know you may be too good for this person. You know that you do not want to be someone's mistress, side chick, or um, whatever you want to call it. And they're basically saying, like, we both know that, you know, you deserve better than this. So let's get some more Oracle messages from this deck and see what else, what other messages is for you. Or what other messages do you have for Gemini? What other messages do you have for Gemini today? <laughs> the third party card popped out. So it says third party there were other things that got in the way of us being together once again goes with this lover's card when i said um a choice between two people so them dating someone else got in the way of you all being together because they wouldn't come to a decision which is the judgment card they wouldn't come to a decision knowing that they had to make a decision to choose you know either you or the other person so they're just being really indecisive about it but they do want to let you know that's the reason why they can't be with you. Then this says, Miss Opportunity. I didn't act when I should have, which for me, because of all these other cards, meaning when they had the opportunity to leave whoever they're dealing with and, you know, to pursue you, they didn't do that. So now they feel like they have a Miss Opportunity with you. And the last one is unexpected outcome. Things didn't go the way I planned. Of course they didn't because they knew what they had to do. They knew what they were supposed to do, but they didn't do it. And I feel like they thought that they could just string you along um, as long as they, you know, for as long as they could. And you were always going to be there. But now it's like you reached a point where it's I, like you're done. You don't feel like it is causing too much problem within this connection. You two are always arguing. So it's just not even worth it anymore. Um, so, oh, you know what, in this, uh, oh no, we already read that one, okay. So yeah, these are the messages that I have for you today, Gemini. Please like, share, and subscribe, and please let me know in the comment section if this is your story or not. If not, check your moon or rising. Also, if you would like to book a personal reading, please click the link in the description box below. Excuse me, and I will talk to you next week.